What's up guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y2 walkthrough. Okay, so did you guys miss me? Not really. I miss you guys. Anywho, yes, I, I, I took a week off, guys. Needed that break. And what a break did I get. Yes, it was a very, very good break. Feel good about it. Yeah. And, uh, oh yeah, by the way, we are finally, yes, we are finally in July. You guys already know what that means. It's my birthday month. So we're going to be having a lot of fun stuff. Lots and lots of fun stuff. And if you guys are wondering how old am I going to be, uh, comment down below. Let me know. Or look back at the archives or something like that. I don't know. Anywho, in our last episode, we finally got to this town. I completely forgot the name of this place. So let's go ahead and uh, do the little noob thing and see where the heck are we. Let's see. Not there. Town map. Please help us. We are in Lacunosa town. And if you guys don't remember, this was what? I would have to say the after game town that led us to, what was his name? Uh, Kiram? Yes, Kiram, the gray Pokemon. You know, when it should have been Pokemon gray. But yeah, I'm not complaining. Anywho, uh, there's Hugh, and he's waiting for us. He's like, what's up? Have you seen Team Plasma anywhere around here? I heard a rumor that uh, that effect. And would you look at that? Yes, they're right here. And we got Zinzolin. Oh, for crying out loud. This is a troublesome indeed, my curious trainers. Perhaps I should uh, sa uh, satiate your curiosity somewhat. The reason I am still part of Team Plasma is this. I want to know how the world will change. Listen, Pokemon are nature Pokeball are civilizations. Human, uh, humans who are used to civilization don't relinquish it easily. Of course, both nature and civilization are important. But what will happen to the world taken over by Team Plasma? People are uh, will be forced to throw out Pokeballs, a product of civilization. I want to know what uh, what that looks like, and I want to enjoy it. So he is a product of chaos, I guess. And well, of course, Hugh. Something's going on with his homeboy. There's something underlined with this kid. He's gonna be like, shut your mouth. All I want is to get back that stolen Pokemon. Draven, give me a hand. Are you ready? I guess so. I mean, I don't. I, I'm not part of this petty squall, but. Okay, sure, why, why why not? Just to let you know, you're about to feel my rage. I didn't like the way that sounded. So, here we go. We're gonna be taking on Team Plasma, and we're gonna be taking on Zinzaloin and a Team Plasma Grunt. So, let's go ahead and speed this up just a little bit, and well, they got Golbat and Krygonal. And yes, I'm gonna take the lead on this. Um, if you excuse me, let's go with Golbat right here. This guy's gonna be coil coiling up, and Light Screen's gonna be hitting us, of course. And we are slow. Why are we slow? But take that Golbat, and there goes an increase of uh, Magneto. So here we go with uh, what was it called? A Leaf uh, Leaf Blade. Yeah, he's definitely feeling the rage and all that crud. So here we go, Charge Beam for the win, Magneto. Getting some points right there, and here comes uh, two more Pokemon. So now that my Charge Beam is maximum. Let's go right ahead and, well, get a slam. And here comes a weak armor. And that right there can't be good. So here we go. We're increasing our special attack just a little bit more. Yes, we will not get paralyzed. So eat this, Garbodor. And, oh, wow. Yeah, we're, we're, yeah, Sneasel is just, yeah. Sneasel, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Superior will not die. Okay, so I may have picked the wrong Pokemon for this one. And here comes a Hyper Potion. Yeah, this Pokemon right here. Well, this Pokemon trainer is kind of like a... Yeah, he's feeling it, and well, Gardevoir has been defeated, and look at that, we defeated Team Plasma yet again. Okay, so what do they have to say? What's with these two? I'm battling alongside Zidzaloin. This shouldn't be happening. These trainers remind me of the one uh, from two years ago. Uh, that was me. Why won't you talk about me? More important, we must continue our search. Like that scientist said, it might be an Opalucid City. We'll play with you again later. Uh, okay, so, what the heck? Oh, wow, he was gonna be like, get back here! Well, at least he didn't turn like Scorpion and shit. Okay, so, that was fun. Anywho, um, so it looks like to me that we're gonna be going further right here to Route 12. And if I remember correctly, there are a buttload of trainers. So we might as well just take on the trainers. 
And uh, some mushroom Pokemon here too. Just, uh, well, you know what? Screw it. Let's just go ahead and battle everybody right here, including the trainers. And here we have a Sewaddle, level 36 and whatnot. And let's go right ahead and, yes, grab ourselves a green shard. Alrighty, okay, alrighty. So, anywho, guys, uh, yeah, I took a nice break from uh, doing any kind of YouTube videos because, well, homeboy needed it. He really, really, really needed a break. Uh, and it's never too bad to take a break, guys. Um, luckily for me, I have plenty of content that, you know, will actually help us out, you know, just to entertain many of you guys right here, too. Um, yes, we are in the month of Ju uh, July, and you guys already know that my birthday's coming up pretty soon. And, well, the fun thing about that is that I always, do, I always seem to do, like, kind of like a, a marathon on my birthday just because, well, it's my birthday and whatnot. Uh, and I'm kind of doing this on the fly right now. I'm kind of thinking that, you know, if I'm going to be doing a marathon, it would probably, it probably would have to do something with my Pokemon uh, Alpha Sapphire walkthrough, which, yeah. I remember going into episode 12, and I believe I got stopped, like, midway because, well, your homeboy forgot that he had a session that he had to use, or he had to do with a client. So, yeah. You know, as of this recording, yeah, I, I probably have, like, already recorded the episodes that needed. So, we'll see what happens. And here we found ourselves a PP up. That's always great. And there we go. Yellow Shard. Okay. So anywho, let's go ahead and continue battling trainers. This guy right here is probably a fighting type trainer. I'm just saying. And uh, yes. But, God dang it. Okay, let's do this again. Gigalith, thank you very much. And let's go and find this guy right here. Stop running away from me. Come on. There you are. Okay, so let's not read the dialogue and battle this guy. It's Black Belt Jarrell, and he's coming out with a Heracross. And, well, let's go right ahead and use an Air Slash. I love using this move. And just like that, Heracross has been defeated. And all our Pokemon are getting, you know, points and all that crud. Anywho, um, let's see. Yes, we are continuing our adventures right here into the Pokemon world and whatnot. I remember last year, or a few years back, yes, I did a marathon on both X and Pokemon X and then Pokemon Omega Ruby. We were going through quite a few, like, a few episodes, especially walkthroughs since, you know, the pandemic was really hitting us and all that crud. And, you know, I'm really tempted. I really am tempted to, be, to play Pokemon Y while I'm at it. But that probably, that, 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 will, that will probably be a little bit too many things on my table right now since, you know, I've picked up a lot of responsibility at the jobs and all that crud. But we'll see. We will see. There are guarantees with the games that I'm playing right now because I've already played them and all that. Anywho. See, I think I've already defeated everybody right here. And, oh, there is a Pokeball right there that I need to grab. Hopefully it's something great. And here we found ourselves a Max Potion. And nothing else. Hmm. Okay, so let's go ahead and read this up. Let's see. Let's see. Route 12. Yes, we are going to be moving into the next place. And yes, it is July 1st. I'm sorry I ended up losing my uniform. Okay. Um, let's see. What if you talk to this person? My Minchino, my grandpa caught it for me. Tail slap, it's, it's a specialty. Okay. Don't want to get slapped. And I did my best to choose a Pokemon who is both cute and strong. It is true. It is cute. And it is very, 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 very strong. And it looks like to me we just changed into Autumn. Holy buckets. So here we are in the village uh, bridge or whatever it is called right here. And I tried to ask for directions, but it turned out that I was talking to a Pokemon trainer. You need to be careful too. Yeah. I'm always careful with everything. And, well, let's see, we're going to be going into, oh, look at that, tennis court. Yes, this place is big on sports. And we're going to be picking up some items like a Carbos. And if you talk to this guy, my favorite thing nowadays is to compete with the PWT, the Pokemon World Tournament. And, you know, eventually we're going to be doing that because, like, from what I've seen in, you know, so many reviews, yeah, I'm a big review nut and all that crud. Uh, the, po the Pokemon World Tournament, it goes in stages from, like, you know, different criminal syndicates to world champions and all that stuff. And if that's the case, I kind of want to use the Pokemon I use in different versions till right now. And, well, look at that. We're kicking some butt, taking some names. That's right, we defeated you. Hmm. 
that's that's probably like one of the best things that was added right here. So we'll see once we finish up this game. And here comes a whimsicott, a win whimsicott, a whimsicott. Yes, that's I'm pronouncing it right. And well, we're getting our butts kicked. But here comes the air slash, and that nearly gets well, that nearly de defeats it. So here we go again, another gust attack, and just like that, we have defeated you. And yes, we are still trying to get everybody at level uh, 40. Got two more Pokemon on that. And, well, if I remember correctly, there might be some items right here. Pokemon. And there is this individual looking at us, and he's going to be like, Hmm. A high-level battling technique is art, uh, is art in its own way. True. Okay, so here we go. Taking on Artist Go. Probably named after Vincent Van Gogh. And, well, again, Air Slash for the win. God dang it. Sam, some floor is a uh, tough... A tough cookie right here, but thankfully we are getting recoveries, and just like that, we win. Okay, alrighty. So what is next right here? Um, I could surf, which I could probably do that right now, but I'm going to check right here, and maybe I should switch out Pokemon because, well, we kind of do need to grow some levels right here. Alright, uh, that guy does not want to battle us. His name is Durleth. Tweet, 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 tweet. And, okay, so I don't know what he does. Let's go ahead and grab this little item. And then, look at that. We found ourselves a rare candy. And, well, let's go ahead and continue on right here. Let's see. There's nothing right here. Yes, yeah, so we're going to be taking a, a, a little gander of this whole town right here. So, let's go in towards the opposite side before we do the surfing and all that crud. I remember playing Pokemon Black and finally going into this location right here. And, yeah, it was, it was like, okay, pretty cool. Very, very cool stuff. I don't know the reasoning for this place, but yeah, it's still something. Now, if you talk to this girl, she's going to be like, Oh, your Pokemon look pretty tired. Don't be shy. Take a nice long rest. And there it is. There it is. Okay, so we are nice and rested. And we're ready to go. And, well, let's see. What if we talk to this individual? I'll cross all the bridges in the Unova region. Even the maroon, a marine tube from Undela Town. Hmm. I'm so looking forward to it. Now, there is a place around here where it kind of looks like an aquarium, which I'm I'm actually looking forward to doing that, too. A woman was living here with a, a group of Patrats. I wonder where they went. Hmm, I seem to remember that, too. Seeing what you watch on TV reminds me of those Patrats. Huh. Yes. Now, remember, we're playing this game. This is two years after the events of the original Pokemon Black and White. And, uh, there you're, yeah, there's nobody right here. There might be some, um, yeah, there might be some kind of, a uh, event going on right there. And this guy will be noticing us. He's like, wait, wait! I've been waiting for this day. You're the 1,000th opponent. I've got 999 win streak. Be my battle opponent. Ha 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 ha! Even though you're just a fledgling, you'll still be my 1,000th win in a row! You know, I think I have a winning streak like that. I think we all do. You know, I should probably count the amount of wins that I have. Yeah, but that that, that would pay, that would take a lot of uh, you know a lot of what was it called uh, a lot of watching my old walkthroughs and all that stuff. And well, look at this, we're taking on the Durant. Let's go with a brick break right here, and that crunch attack does not hit us. So here we go, brick break. That's right, and that Durant is exactly what it's named. It's Durant, and here comes an Iron Head, which misses. So there. There goes, yeah, high jump kick, and, well, I don't know why I picked that, but look at this. Iron Head finally hits us, and, yeah, it takes a boatload of our HP, and, well, its defense has fallen. Could have gone with the Brick Break right there, so here comes a Crunch Attack onto us. Does not affect us. And just like that, yes. Look at that, okay. Alrighty, so, Moxie. Is affecting us, and we're finally at level 40. God dang it, okay. And Desert Storm grows to level 43. Now, here comes a Lucario. That Pokemon is a... That Pokemon is a sight to behold. So let's go with Big Booty Butkus. Let's go. Big Booty, the Butkus. There he is. And, well, he's coming out with a Lucario. Gentleman Stonewall. That is a pretty cool name. Here comes a Flamethrower attack, and, well, just like that, this Pokemon is... Oh yeah, he's heightening his uh, yeah, he's heightening his uh, his attack. And look at this, Lucario has been defeated. Yes, sir. Look at that, level 42. 
And Stonewall, yes, I am merciless. That's 999 and 1. I steadily extended my win streak for two years, and now it's over. But I have a strong will. I declare I'll try that again. Uh, or try again to have a 1,000th win streak. I won't battle you next time, though. You'll just break my streak. Yeah, I will. I will. I'll, I'll break it in at 20 wins or something like that. Anywho, let's move on right here. Look at this. Another bridge, which is pretty cool. And, it, well, I'm going to be talking to everybody. La, 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 la. Nothing. And I hear some uh, a sound from somewhere. Sometimes it sounds sad. Sometimes it sounds a little goofy. Do you think it could be a ghost? Probably. It could probably be a ghost. So let's go right ahead and uh, continue to talk some more people right here. And I wonder if a veteran Pokemon raised or trained young Pokemon. Probably. And, wow. And that is a quack quack. Okay, so let's talk to this one. Follow me, Ducklet. And I'm looking for some free items right here. So let's see. I wish somebody would raise uh, me like this with three meals and a nap every day. I think that's called your parents. I would be sad to know they, if your parents didn't raise you that well. So let's see. Here we have another room filled with a bunch of breeders. I'm so happy to be able to eat with my Pokemon. Okay. And why are these Pokemon running around here? God dang. Pokemon make the most adorable faces when they bite into sandwiches. That is true. And well, oh, you're a newcomer, aren't you? Then let's battle without saying a word. Are you ready? Sure. Okay. I want to bake a tasty bread with strong Pokemon. Yes. Alrighty. Let's see what we got. Here we have Baker Chris. Oh, wait. Is that a girl? Or is it... I don't even know. But she's coming out with a heat more. And we're going to go with a brick break right here. Look at that. Karate chop. For the win. Yes. And... Well, we are on the red. So let's go with a high jump kick. And that fails. Good gravy. Okay, Magneto, let's do this. And I'm solely doing this just to get to level 40. Okay, let's go with the Volt Switch. There we go. Volt Switch does it. Now I'm going to switch it back. And we're going to go with something logical like, oh, I don't know, Sigh of the Torrent. And there we go. Getting hit by that. Let's finish him off with the Surf Attack for the win. And there we go. Alrighty. And Magneto finally grows to level 40. Yes. Wow, what a trainer. You understand the trust of you, you and your Pokemon. That's why you got this result. And yes, I got no gifts. None. None whatsoever. I'm totally hooked on the village sandwiches. I come here every day to eat them. Okay. So, yeah, we, 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 we literally have nothing right here. Literally nothing. Okay. And, uh, well, let's see. What do we have right here? Talk to this person. I'll be a stone cutter like my grandpa. I can get help from a powerful Pokemon. And, well, let's see. If we talk to this person, my great 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 grandfather and I, or in his girder, work together to build this stone village, or this village, village, whatever. If Team Plasma has uh, has had tricked, or has, or I can't even speak right now, had tricked everyone into releasing all their Pokemon, it would be impossible to build a bridge like this. People and Pokemon are inseparable. The relationship is not more or less than that. That's what I believe. Hmm. That is true. That is very, very true. Okay, so let's see. Hmm. Let's go towards the second part of this whole area right here. And there will be some, there will be some pretty cool Pokemon right here if you guys want to capture them. I'm just trying to battle this guy. Stop ignoring me. Just battle me. Okay, let's speed this up right here. And, well, let's see. Youngster Carl wants to battle me. Coming out with a Sand Slash. And, well, let's go with Gigalith. And let's go with a Slab Beam right here. Slab Beam for the win. And uh, there you go. Look at that. Gigalith kicking some butt. Look at that. Okay. So, let's see. I got Pokemon that are about to evolve, so I might as well go with Desert Storm for while, the time being. Now, if you guys remember, I did switch the original Desert Storm for somebody new because, well, apparently the apparently the nature kind of uh, messed it up a little. And, well, look at this. We're taking on a Meryl. No, thank you. Go right here. And here we found ourselves in Ultra Ball. Hmm. You know what's funny? I just realized that I captured a legendary Pokemon in the last episode. Like, just like that. And here's Kunt, and singing gives life into my spirit. Will you listen to my voice, or the voice of my spirit? And I didn't. Oh, wait, he's singing. Hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. His voice is very majestic. Now I'm going to, let's see. What if we go right here? There is a secret entrance. Huh. And, oh, wow, she is singing. Wait, 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 wait. 
And she's gonna look at us and she's gonna be like, Eek! Uh-oh. I'm practicing. Get out! Oh. Anywho, that was new. Alrighty, so let's see. There are two more things that I think we need to grab. And this, we found ourselves a blue shard. Not, not bad at all. And let's go right across right here to see what's up. And you can still hear this guy singing, which is pretty cool. And, well, let's see. What do we have right here? We found ourselves a big pearl, which many of you guys already know. You can sell for a lot of money. You know, if you guys are, you know, less in money and all that crud. And, well, look at this. We are going back towards the opposite way. So, we're going to cut it short right here. Not really short, but we're going to cut it right here, guys, because it was just a visit of this whole place. In the next episode, I hope we're going to be doing a lot more than just, you know, exploring a town and all that crud. We're going to start, we're going to stop right here just to kill up our Pokemon. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient as always. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Y2 walkthrough. See you guys.